Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. Let's take a look at the news. Ha! <laughs> ah, train wreck Hillary, desperately trying to become president, is so intimidated by honest questions that she is now banning people from her campaign stops unless they first sign a pledge that they're going to vote for her. Real life is catching up to Hillary. You know, she has never done an interview where the interviewer did not first sign an agreement that no tough questions would be asked. And now that people are beginning to zero in on her criminal actions, you know, money laundering, taking bribe from terrorist nations, on and on and on, Hillary's fallen apart like the amateur that she is. She is incapable of functioning around real people. How in the world would a wimp like that ever deal with Vladimir Putin? You know, I think one of my life goals is being realized. That is, making sure that the meanest, nastiest woman in American politics does not get the honor of being America's first female president. And, of course, the net is buzzing over Kim Davis, the court clerk jailed for daring to be Christian in Obama's America. She's in jail even though she broke no law. Now, why is it that refusing to issue marriage licenses to people who cannot get married is a jailable offense? But the many crimes of Eric Holder, Clinton, the IRS, the sanctuary cities, why is it that those crimes are totally ignored? Totalitarians are running our government. Wake up, Christians. The storm clouds of persecution are forming over the USA. And there are a few champions that are taking a stand, people like Franklin Graham and Ted Cruz being two of them. You know, Christians have had an easy ride in the USA. Probably too easy. Well, Judas is in the White House, and the easy ride is coming to an end. I see Obama's war on American peace officers is still a shooting war. Aurora PD is on high alert after yet another Obama minion called in the threat to kill all cops they find alone in the city. Well, here's a wild bill bullet of truth to Obama's ghetto trash thugs. We, the people of the United States, like our law enforcement officers a whole lot better than we like ghetto trash. American law enforcement officers make this a better country to live in. You ghetto trash do nothing but make things worse. And we have tolerated a lot of nonsense from you guys, and we've just let it go. But now, you guys have crossed the line. There's an old saying in the USA, it's time to take out the trash. Maybe it's time for the people of the United States to start giving you guys a taste of your own medicine. You might want to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden running for president. Man, this just keeps getting sillier. This is going to be the Saturday Night Live of presidential elections. I have never before seen such a lineup of goofballs. Martin O'Malley is one of them. He's the guy who claims that the ISIS terrorists rose up in the Middle East because of global warming. Uh, silly me. I thought it was because Obama lost the war that George W. Bush had already won. Well, looky here. Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, and Sarah Palin are joining forces to stop the Iran deal. You know the deal where the Democrats get lots of money from the Middle East in exchange for the, letting them do the Hiroshima and Nagasaki on Israel and probably a few million expendable Americans. Trump, Cruz, and Palin. Just think what a team like that could do for the USA. I wonder what's going to come of that. These are exciting days to be a conservative Christian American. Keep the faith, my friends. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching, and America, bless God again.